Both the Moderna vaccine as well as the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine use lipid nanoparticles and mRNA. Those are the two primary ingredients in the vaccine. So M in mRNA stands for messenger. So it's a messenger RNA-based vaccine. And the mRNA itself uh, encodes for the spike protein. It is the major protein on the surface. If you ever see pictures of the coronavirus, it's the big spike that's sticking out of the, uh, of the virus particle. And so this mRNA encodes for that. Once the mRNA enters the cell, your cell naturally translates it into spike protein. And this elicits the immune response that protects you from COVID-19. But it's only making the spike protein. It's not the whole virus, it's only a part of it. And so you can't get the virus from that messenger RNA. So this is literally where we make RNA in my lab. So we have a small laboratory area that we've designated for RNA production. And Hannah's in the midst of doing that now. And she literally takes the DNA and the enzymes and mixes them up in a tube. And then we basically shake them and incubate them for usually a couple of hours to overnight. And that's sort of the first round of production. The RNA itself is not the whole vaccine. It also contains a li contains lipids. And what that lipid um, does is it protects the RNA, but it al also allows it to be absorbed into your muscle cells. And um, when it gets taken up by muscle, it can then be expressed. If you just inject mRNA on its own, your body does not like that. And the mRNA does not enter cells. So the lipid nanoparticle acts as a shield or a carrier for the mRNA that allows the mRNA to get into the cells. We make LNPs carrying mRNA, not for COVID vaccines, but for other drugs here in the laboratory. The four ingredients that make up the LNP are ionizable lipid, which is a fat, cholesterol, which we eat every day, a helper lipid, which is natural, and a PEG lipid, where a PEG is something that we see in everyday products. All four of those products are safe. So the mRNA itself ends up in, uh, gets injected into your muscle cells. Well, mRNA itself does not last forever. It degrades. The good thing about this is that from a safety perspective is that it doesn't stay with you forever. And that's really, I think, important for us to know. A lot of clinical data in phase one, phase two, and phase three clinical trials have conclusively shown that this vaccine is safe. The data have been peer reviewed. The data are clear. The vaccine is safe. I would certainly suggest taking the vaccine. I mean, the fact is, is your immune system is going to get some boost from this. And I would say this with any vaccine, if the vaccine, even if you get COVID, um, not from the vaccine itself, but post vaccination, you're not gonna get as sick if you have the vaccine than if you didn't have the vaccine. And so the reality is, you know, if the vaccine keeps us out of the hospital, keeps us uh, from being very, very sick, that is a very good thing.